Tom from Black Tester. And here is my 1850 points <coughs> of Black Templars to play against uh, Dom's uh, Corn Demon King. So essentially, here we are. So first of all, my HQ for this one is Grimaldus with three servitors. And they'll be riding with a 10-man strong unit of Terminator, Assault Terminators, pardon me. Uh, five with Storm Shields and Thunder Hammers and five with Lightning Claws. The captain is at the front here and he's got the laurels on his um, Lightning Claws. Then two troop choices. Got one in a Land Raider Crusader over here, which is a Crusader squad. 10-man Melter Gun with a Sword Brother and a Power Weapon, which is in this case the Power Sword. And one other guy upgraded to a Power Fist. <coughs> At the back over here we've got a Relic Leviathan Dreadnought, he's got Ceramite Plating, three Hunter Killer Missiles, his Storm Cannon and the Siege Claw with a Melter Gun in the middle. <coughs> and secondary choices over here is a 10-man Bolter Squad with a Plasma Gun and a Plasma Cannon, that's the one I'm looking for, sorry pardon me. And they're riding a Rhino. And then finally over here is a Centurion Devastator Squad all with Grav Amps and missile launches in the chest. So that is my 1850 points of Black Templars. Okay, so here, here are my 1850 points of Corn Demonkin. I've got a combined arms attachment with the uh, Gore Pack formation as well in here. So going through the Gore Pack, I uh, will run through what I've got here. So I've got eight Flesh Hounds here on the f at the front in one squad. I've got three bikers there, one with a plasma gun, three bikers here, one with a melter gun, Three bikers back here, one with a melted gun and the champion's got a uh, lightning claw. Five bikers here, just standard, but the champion has a power fist. So that is a gore pack. My combined arms attachment, I have got a warlord here with a sigil of corruption. He's got dual lightning claws and he's of course on a bike with the mark of corn as standard. Two squads of eight blood letters with a blood reaper in both squads. Three defilers. Standard, that one's got the power scourge on it. Three blood crushers, and finally, we've got a hell drake with the bale flamer. So that is my 1850 points. Uh, and let's see what the mission and the battlefield look like. Right, so here we are, Don from Black Toast Studios, and today I am playing 1850 points of cleanse and control against Tom from Black Toast Studio. Yeah. So we've got Corn Demon Kin against the Black Templars, and Tom, you've deployed your forces here. I have, yeah. So we've got my Terminators over there. Yeah. Grimaldus in the middle there. Indeed. And three servitors. Very nice then. Relic Leviathan Dreadnought just there. Yep. And then the Centurion Devastators with uh, Grab Amps sitting there. And there's a Crusader squad inside that Lamarilla Crusader. And then finally. And then another Crusader squad within that Rhino. Right, okay. And then let's just go across the battlefield here to see the Corn Demon Kin Force. So we've got uh, Bikers and my Lord there. Big squad of Bikers there. And another squad of bikers just there, the squad of three. Two defilers here, another squad of three bikers, another defiler, eight blood letters, the blood crushers, and of course all the other bits are in reserve, so the blood letters are in reserve as well as the hell drake. Um, objective wise, we've got objective number one over here. We have got our objective number six there. Objective number three is hiding behind us bastion. Objective 5 is over here by the Relic Leviathan. Uh, over here by the Land Raider, we've got objective number 2. We've got objective number 4. And objective number 1. So there we are. At the moment, Tom is going first. Unless, of course, I can steal the initiative. So here we go. No. So over to 
Black, Tem Black Templar Term 1. Okay, here are my objective cards before I start my turn one movement. So we've got Decimate the Enemy, Secure the Field, and Prioritise Armoured Target. So essentially, Decimate the Enemy is just to kill troop choices, either in the shooting or the psychic phase. And I get extra points if I do it in the assault phase. Secure the Field is to hold two odd numbered objective markers. And Armoured Targets is the same as the troop one, except it's for heavy armoured targets as well. So. Here's my movement. So the Crusader with the squad with the, in the Rhino has moved up this way towards four. The Lamar Crusader moved up and sitting above one of the objectives. And then Centurion Devastator will move slightly around this way just to try and create an angle away from the portal hounds over there. The Red Leviathan moved in to get a, a shot at them. And then this large squad of Terminators here Roll to move through difficult terrain, only got a four. Um, so hopefully they'll get a better run. So now we'll move on to my shooting phase. Okay, turn one shooting for Black Templars. So the Relic Leviathan Dreadnought shot at the flesh hands over there. Didn't do anything unfortunately because they got good saves and I got extremely bad at wounding rolls. The Land Raider Crusader. Fared slightly better and managed to actually kill two of them with its various weapons. So not too bad, but other than that, the Terminator squad over here did a very low run roll as well, only moving three inches again. So hopefully next turn they'll be able to move up the board a little bit quicker than they are now. So now we'll move on to Corn Demonkin, turn one. Right, so turn one for Corn Demonkin. And I've drawn No Mercy, so it's destroying a, a unit in the shooting phase, or Assault, that's not, that's, that's, that's okay. Secure Objective 4, um, unfortunately Templars are currently sitting on that objective, but we'll see what we can do. And Adaptive Strategy, so that's rolling 2d6 and try to capture those objective markers, so here we go. A 4 and a 3. So, Objective 4 is definitely... Uh, we need and objective three. So moving on to movement, let's see what the corn demon kin have done. Right, turn one movement for corn demon kin, and what we've done is pretty much we're trying to stay out of reach of a lot of our biker squads here. So all the bikes are coming around, lining up shots towards a big blob of terminators. It's going to be a hard slog, but hopefully we can do something. So the guys all maneuvered around. Defilers are taking up positions, bracing themselves, ready to fire the battle cannons. This squad of crushers has just come out. This squad of bikers, kind of a bit of a suicide here, but we're going for objective three. Over there, the uh, flesh hounds are learning up a charge towards the centurions. Hopefully that'll work out, but we will see. Um, as you all know, I've got to capture objective four t twice. So there's one way over here unfortunately, so unachievable this turn. And I've also got secure objective three, which is there. So moving on to shooting, let's see if I can uh, do any damage to the Templar forces. Right, so turn one shooting for the corn demon kin, and let's have a look at the battlefield. So over here we've got the three defilers. This turn they all used their Demon Forge and fired three battle cannons and snapshotted Reaper shots over to the Terminators, knocking out three Terminators, which is uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, also, all the bikes, the four bike squads also fired in, uh, didn't really do anything, maybe killed one, possibly. Um, that's not great, but never mind, wasn't expecting great things. The Flesh Hounds ran towards the Terminators and the blood crushers also ran slightly as well. So there's no assault in turn one. We're going to see what the corn demonkin scored at the end of turn one. Okay, so at the end of turn one for corn demonkin, didn't wipe a whole unit out. I still haven't got objective four, uh, but we did score objective three. So there we go. And we lose this card now. So the score at the moment at the end of turn one is 1-0 to the Corn Demon again. So moving on to turn two for the Black Templars. Okay, Black Templars turn two. 
Just going to the movement phase, however, just sort of give you a quick update on my objectives. They are exactly the same as last time because I didn't achieve any of them. So, firstly, the Rhino moved up with its Squadron Crusader a little bit just to get on that side of the objective. Um, the Lemurian Crusader moved up to get a, a line of sight on the Blood Crushers. Which probably won't do anything, but it's worth a shot. Uh, the Centurion Devastator has moved around a little bit further just to get a better line of sight through the middle there. Hopefully, to get something. The Relic Leviathan moves in front of the Flesh Hounds because I think he's going to have a uh, attempt to wipe them all out. You never know. And then finally, slightly better move for the uh, Templars this time and the old uh, Terminators. They moved five inches this time, so hopefully we should get our charge off into the uh, bikers over there in a minute. But uh, we shall see, because I've had small charges fail. <laughs> so, moving on to my shooting phase. Okay, so turn two shooting for Templars. The Crusader shot at the Blood Crushers, and I think we killed. Well, no, we think we took two wounds off. Yeah, one, is that right? two wounds off. Yep, and then I shifted over here, and the Devastator Centurions just hiding behind here shot through at the same squad and killed two of them overall, and left mm -hmm. one alive. The Leviathan shot at the Flesh Hand in the middle and took two away. Uh, ready to charge in a minute, hopefully. And this squad didn't shoot at all because we want to make sure we got the best opportunities to charge. So now we'll see what happens in the assault phase. Okay, so the Terminators, in their true fashion and my normal luck, decided that they didn't want to make their charge. <laughs> so they failed that, so they're, still, they're there for another turn. The Leviathan did make it in and managed to kill another two Flesh hands, so we're just going to hopefully get through that combat next turn. But on the plus side, they haven't engaged my Centurion Devastators like they normally do every game. So let's move on to Corn Demonkin turn two. Okay, turn two for Corn Demonkin, and my objectives I've got no mercy here. So keep objective four still and cleanse and burn. So for this one, I have to roll an objective and make sure there's no enemies within. The dice rolls, that's the objective, yes. So, uh, it's objective four. Oh god. Right, so moving on to movement, let's see what Corn Demon Kin have done. So, turn two movement for Corn Demon Kin, what we've done, bikes have all reshuffled, one squad's fallen back, Tom is mocking me saying World Eaters shouldn't fall back, but it's like hunting. We've got to wound the beast, then we go in for the kill. So they're taking a few casualties, a couple more, and there are mincemeat. Defilers have reshuffled, two of which are concentrating their fire now to all over over this way. The Blood Crusher doing a a uh, suicide charge <laughs> in Slam Raider. <laughs> also, my reserves have turned up, so I've got one squad of blood letters over here. Um, I'm not sure how useful they're going to be, but we'll see. I did try and put a squad in behind the Centurions, but unfortunately we had a bit of a mishap situation. And Tom has decided to place them over here right at the back so they're going to be pretty much useless unless uh, some weird objective comes up where I've got to be hiding at the back of my board. So we're going to move into shooting and let's see what Corn can do to the Templar scum. Okay so Corn Demon Kin turn to shooting. Uh, what happened? So pretty much same again with the bikes. They all fired, as well as two defilers, violent battle cannons and reapers, and we took out two more terminators. So it's slowly getting weaker. This horrible, this horrible unit with Grimaldus. Slowly getting weaker, and it's almost time to strike. Almost time to strike. Um, what else? This battle cannon and the uh, reaper. Did I fire the reaper? No, I didn't fire the reaper. So I'm going to fire the reaper on camera. Uh, the reaper at the rhino. Clap firing, no, re rolling, twin linked. No, nothing, never mind, so pointless. But the battle cannon did fire, it hit both the Lamb Raider and the Rhino, didn't do anything to the um, Lamb Raider, but hit the Rhino and shook it, and the guys inside are snap firing next turn, so that's not, not too bad. Kind of protects the uh, blood letters a little bit. So that is it really, I've got no assault except for that over there. 
So moving into turn two assault for Corn Demon Kid. So at the end of turn two combat, the uh, Leviathan beat to death the two flesh hounds that were pestering it, and it's moved off. So the Corn Demon Kid are no longer locked in combat. And let's see what Corn has scored at the end of turn two. So at the end of turn two for Corn Demon Kin, uh, we haven't actually scored anything unfortunately, but we did score one blood type point, uh, which is representative of this lovely dice. So moving into turn three for Black Templars, let's see what they can do. Okay, turn three for Templars, movement phase. Um, essentially I've still got the same objectives, hopefully getting scores on this turn round, however, uh, this narrow crusader moved back slightly just to get a refining solution on that last juggernaut, try and get rid of it. Um, this has stayed put. And over here. The devastators have moved up just to hopefully have a go at that uh, nice defiler over there. <laughs> Got to get rid of them. There's a three of them still, but I don't like them. <laughs> and then over here, the Terminator is reformed and have come this way now and hopefully going to chase down one of the bite squads. I have my suspicions probably not, but we'll try, we'll try. And the Leviathan is just coming up behind them to give them a bit of fire support. At least hopefully make one of those squads jink this turn, but we shall see. So let's move on to my shooting phase. Okay, 10 past turn 3 shooting, so I'll start over here. The Lamarrow Crusader shot at the last Juggernaut and destroyed it. Good. Moving over to this side. The Centurion Devastators here all took a shot at the Defiler over there. And there's a Dom, he's hiding behind the wreckage of the Defiler they shot at. Um, they only wrecked it so it's still there, as you can see. And then finally, the Relic Leviathan over here fired at this squad right back here and took all one <coughs> off. But however, it did make it jinx, so that's one less set of bolters to fire at me next round, although I don't think that's going to make much difference if they don't make it into combat. So, we'll now move on to the assault phase. Okay, so turn three assault phase. Now, not being funny, but for some reason, I just can't get a charge off the moment. <laughs> Essentially, uh, it was an 80-inch charge to start with, so I was trying to get the guys over here in the building because uh, it was equal, this was 9, this was 8, so I thought Solid will go for that. Overwatch, and yeah, we lost another Terminator to <laughs> Overwatch. I think it was a Bolter in fact, wasn't it? It was a bolt gun. It yeah. was indeed a bolt gun. So, well, it's, uh, free plus it's doing very well. And then they uh, got a 6-inch charge anyway, so uh, yeah. Guess we'll move on to my uh, recap of points. Okay, so at the end of my turn three, I've actually managed to score some points this time. So first of all, we got the prioritised armour targets, which got me one for killing his defiler. And then I got this one over here, which is for holding two odd numbered objectives, which was numbers five and three. So I'll now roll to see what I get, which is D3. And we get one for that. So I'll make those cards count as one each in my pile. So I'm now two points to your Don. What have you got? One. Two to one at the moment. So I'm sure things will change the next turn. So moving on to Corn Dimkin, turn three. Okay, so Corn Demonkin, turn three. So I've got the same objective still. So objective, trying to secure objective four is definitely high on the priorities. No mercy, killing something. And I've got three blood type points. So I'm gonna use all these three, gone. And we're using unstoppable ferocity. So basically it means everything in my army uh, has feel no pain this turn, which is going to be very handy. If we move on to the battlefield, let's see what see what I've done. Okay, so turn three movement for Corn Demon Kin, and the beast has been weakened enough with that uh, attempted charge and the loss of the uh, one of the remaining Thunder Hammers. It's time to strike. So the leader coming in here with his world eaters. Big swarm of bikers, and we're gonna shred these people. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> the filers have also shuffled around this. The filer, I'm hoping to try and get a charge in towards the dreadnought. This one here is gonna lay a bit of fire down at the end of the battlefield. These guys are moving up. Also, this turn, we've got the arrival of the Helldrake. Flappy is here, and hopefully, we'll be uh, incinerating something. 
and these blood letters here have just shuffled around. So hopefully something's going to go in my way. <laughs> we will see what happens in shooting turn three. Okay, so turn three for Corn Doom and Kin shooting, and we all fired bolt guns, plasma guns, melter guns, and we took a couple more terminators out. Now uh, Grimaldus is at the front there, looking bravely on at the swarm of madmen on bikes. Um, I decided to fire that, fired it in its Reaper into the Dreadnought, glanced, but Tom made a save there. Elsewhere, We've got this to fire. Our fire's battle cannon went over, hit there. Oh no, sorry, went to hit there. I scattered back and killed a bloodlet. <laughs> Heldrake flamed on and took one more hull point and destroyed the combi, uh, the bolter that's on top. So yeah, it's not too bad. We're going to move into assault now and uh, see if Grimaldus can take on the hate. Okay, so turn three assault for Corn Demon Kin, and over here the Bloodlet is charged in. They completely shredded the Rhino, and the uh, Marines have all disembarked over that side. So it's pretty good. We've actually got objective four finally. That's something. Over here though, past all the wreckage, the uh, tide of bikes charged in, butchered everyone but Grimaldis. So Grimaldis is now locked to Mortal Combat with my leader. Uh, we did lose one biker, unfortunately. And over here, the defiler char clambered over the uh, terrain, got into combat. It unfortunately took two hull points and was un unable to do anything to the Leviathan, so not good. Um, so I'm going to move on to see what we've scored at the end of turn three. Right, so at the end of turn three, uh, I have successfully scored Cleanse and Burn. Um, I didn't get the D3, I was only was able to clear them off uh, three inches of the objective. Secure objective four at last. And I actually got no mercy as well. So that has actually put me on four points to Tom's three because he's got first blood as well. So four free to Corn Demonkin and let's see what Templars can do in their turn four. Okay, so at the start of my turn four, I've drawn two new objective cards. So we've got Let Them Bleed, which is to score one victory point at the end of your turn if at least one model was removed as a casualty from at least three different enemy units. So, okay, three enemy units, that's going to be interesting to do. And Command the Field, which is to control at least one odd numbered and one even numbered objective. Oh, sorry, two of each, pardon me, not one. Uh, so I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll, we'll see. So here's what I've done in my movement phase. I've moved this Crusader squad around just to try and take a couple of those blood letters down. The Nomad Crusader has gone up behind the Flying Helldrake of Doom to try and uh, shoot him in the rear with the assault cannon. Never know, might get lucky. The Centurion Devastators here have just moved to get line of sight on the Defiler just on the other side of the uh, Bastion over there. <coughs> and obviously the Leviathan over here. Still locked in combat and so is Grimaldus, which I don't think is going to go too well for him when he finishes that challenge. Either way. <laughs> so let's see what happens in my shooting phase. Okay, so turn four shooting for Templars. The Centurion shot over at the Defiler over here. As you can see, he's um, basically flipped over and blown up. So that's good. One more less. And moving on over here. The Crow Squad shot over here and took out a few of the blood letters. And the Land Raider Crusader shot at the back of the uh, Helldrake and took off a hull point with the assault cannon, luckily. So that's all that there. And now we'll move on to the assault phase. Okay, so combats are still going on. So Leviathan hit twice, but unfortunately, Don got a couple of good saves for his Defiler. Then he hit back and managed to take a hull point off me. Um, and meanwhile down here, Grimaldus is still in the fight. He took another wound, uh, unfortunately didn't do anything back, so he's there for one more turn probably. We shall see. So moving on to Corn Demon turn four. Right, 
Right, so turn four for Corn Demon King, and I've drawn Command the Field, uh, which is I need to control do, 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 at least two even number and two odd number. Um, control the field, which is score D3 if I control two even number objectives, and secure objective six. So, all relatively achievable and I'm using my free blood type points from the previous in uh, to uh, get through no pain again. Right, so turn four movement for Corn Demon Ken. These blood letters moved up here between the two wrecked defilers. These bikers are still holding objective six there while everyone else is engaged beating Grimaldus to death. <coughs> heldrex has gone into um, hover mode there to land on objective two while the bloodlets over here are currently on objective four so that's kind of securing the even objectives there and those guys are holding objective six so that's, that's pretty good so far we're going to move into shooting phase and see if we can do any damage to the templar forces Turn 4 shooting for Corn Demon King and these guys are pretty much run forward here through the debris field heading towards objective 1 there. I don't know if they'll make it but they'll give it a good go. The Hell Drake here in hover mode he uh, basically flamed these guys killing I think 5, 5 of these guys went. Yep that makes sense there's 5 left. So yeah 5 of those have died. Uh, we're going to move them to Salt now and let's see what Corn Demon King can do to the Templars. So, turn for assault for Corn Demon Kin, and my lord finally killed Grimaldus. He's dead, the warlord is gone. But the defiler was also destroyed at the same time, and now the Leviathan is very angry and he's pointing that horrible cannon towards the corn bikers. So, we will see what happens there. Um, so, I think that was all the assaults. So, let's see what Corn Demon Kin scored at the end of turn four. Right, so at the end of turn four for Corn Demon Kin, I didn't get that, unfortunately I wasn't able to get onto enough objectives. I did secure objective six, and I did kill the Warlord. So currently the score is six three to Corn Demon Kin, but I did also get control of the field, so it's D3. So here we go, oh, nice. So it's now nine three to Corn Demon Kin against the Templars. Let's see what Tom can do in Black Templar Turn 5. Um, I meant to say I would discard and let them bleed at the end of my last turn. So I'm just going to take that away and I'll be back to do my objectives before I start Turn 5. Okay, so my objectives at the start of Turn 5 are Command the Field, Decimate the Enemy and Area Control. So I'll just now do my movement. Okay, so Turn 5 Black Templars and we're hunting objectives as much as we can. So let's try and get as many as we can. We've moved this squad around to try and take out those blood letters. We've also moved the land raider up and pointed all of the forces that came out of it at the blood letter squad down here. And then finally, the centurions moved down towards the objective and also get line of sight on all the bikes down there and the Leviathan has done likewise. So we will now see what happens in my shooting phase. Okay, so it looks like we've got the revenge on the bikers a little bit here. So the Centurion Devastator squad back here shot through and got rid of one of the squads. And then the Leviathan finished off all but the leader in his squad. So I think we'll be having a little assault in a minute. Other than that, everything over here shot at the Blood Letter squad and almost pushed them back to the 12 inch mark. But I'm probably going to have to try and get a charge out, which I hope we'll get. And then over here. These guys shot all the weaponry again, but only managed to actually kill two of the blood letters, which is a shame, but oh, yeah, we did the best we could. So we'll now move on to the assault phase. Okay, so the Relic Leviathan in his combat phase finally killed off his Lord, giving me say the Warlord as well, which is good. Uh, and then this squad over here managed to push back a little bit, but not quite enough to finish off the entire squad and put them out at 12 inches in the centre. 
but never mind. Um, so we'll now recap my points for the end of turn five. Okay, so at the end of my turn, I scored area control, which is to make sure no one's within six inches of the centre of the board. Uh, so I scored that one, and I gained one additional point for Slay the Warlord. So now we'll move on to turn five for Demon Kin. Right, so turn five for Corn Demon Kin, and we have still got command on the field, but we've drawn Secure Objective 2 and Secure Objective 1. Um, which are both hopefully achievable, maybe? I don't know, we'll have a look at the battlefield in a moment. And we've got five blood type points banked, but we're gonna keep those banked for now and see if we can pull something out at the last minute. So let's see Corn Demon Kin movement for turn five. Right, it's so a turn five movement. And basically we have moved the bikes round to attack this Crusader squad. It's too much of a hard fight really, taking on the Centurions, we'll get bogged down. That thing we can't do anything about with melters, unfortunately. It's got a stupid armor thing. So we're gonna go against these guys and we're gonna hammer them and it's gonna be horrible. Fingers crossed anyway. Elsewhere over here, the Drake uh, is still sitting on objective two, which we need this turn and hopefully it will be flaming this squad and the two blood letters, oh, bit out of squad coherency. There we go. We'll be charging in against the Crusader squad there. So moving into shooting and let's see what we can do. Right, so turn five shooting for Corn Demonkin, and the Helldrake came flame this slot, leaving only two Marines standing against the Blood Letters. So we're going to move into Assault now and see what we can do. Right, turn four for Corn Demonkin Assault, and ooh, it could have gone better. So this bike squad charged in, the champion was issued a, a challenge, he accepted, and he died. One more blood type point, I suppose. The blood letters killed off another marine, but then were butchered. This squad, unfortunately, were able, un unable to charge in, so they're gonna get shot a lot next turn. And finally, the blood letters charged over, one got killed, and the blood reaper is still there. Hopefully it'll do something next turn. So not a great turn for Corn Demon Kin, but we did score some blood type points. We are now up to seven, which is pretty good. And let's see what Corn Demonkin scored at the end of turn four. Alright, so at the end of that, Corn Demonkin have secured objective two. We've still got the other two outstanding, and the score is currently 10-5. Um, so we're going to go see if turn six happens. So stay tuned. So the roll four, if the game continues. Tom, roll! No. Oh. So it's there. Be my dice roll again, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good game. Yeah. Tom, unfortunately, is a corn demon kin victory. Have you got a man of the match for this game? Um, or men of the match, or squad of the match? I think the relic with Leviathan again is. Yeah, this thing is a formidable beast. He's very good. And, so, and I think, but if I was going for like sheer damage, it would definitely be the Centurion Devastators this turn round because they got a couple of defilers, a few squads of bikers. Yeah, yeah. They, they did what they were supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, so, it, yeah, they definitely made their points yeah. up in this game. It was they're horrible as always. Um, for me, it would probably be the bike squads because they did what they had to do, <laughs> held on, and are still there at the end of the game. So, really fun game. Um, close at some points but unfortunately at the end there I think Kong Demon King just had momentum and just pushed. Uh, if it carried on for another turn I'm not really sure if the Kong Demon King could have <laughs> held out but unfortunately that's the uh, nature of the game. It is indeed. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and it's Dom and Tom and we'll see you next time. See you soon.